welcome back to your public library's Thinkers and Tinkers Lab Home Edition. As always, I'm Jen and I'm with you every Tuesday at 2 p.m. with fun STEAM activities. So that science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics activities that you can do at home. Today, we're once again investigating the S in STEAM, which stands for science. We're investigating rainbows. Before we dive into rainbows, let me tell you what we're gonna need for today's two activities. First up, for activity number one, you're going to need anything that you can make a rainbow out of. As you can see, I'll be using Play-Doh today, but you could also use markers, paint, crayon, paper, pipe cleaners, or anything else that you have around the house. What you use for that activity is completely up to you. For activity number two, you're going to need a flashlight, a glass of water, a small hand mirror, and a piece of paper. So, go ahead, pause the video now, gather up your materials, and then we'll get started. Okay, got everything you need? Perfect! Let's start by talking about what rainbows are. Well, simply put, Rainbows are arches of color in the sky. You may have seen one after a rainstorm outside. Rainbows are made up of seven colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Violet is also called purple. To help you remember those seven colors, let's do our first activity, which is making our own rainbow. Check it out. with all seven colors. Violet or purple, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and of course, red. Great job making your rainbow. And now that we know about all of the colors of the rainbow and that a rainbow is a beautiful arch in the sky, let's talk about where those colors come from and how a rainbow comes to be. Well, to begin with, I can tell you that there's actually a hint in the name, rainbow. You guessed it, rain. Water droplets have a lot to do with the making of a rainbow. Let me explain. Rainbows are made when the sun's white light travels through water droplets that are in our atmosphere or sky. The white light from the sun is made up of the seven colors of the rainbow, and so, when the white light enters a water droplet, it bends and breaks into the seven colors through a process called refraction. Refraction occurs because each of the seven colors that make up white light have a different wavelength, which causes them to bend at a different angle. So, when white light moves from the air into water and reflects inside of the water droplet, each of the seven colors reflect and bend a little bit differently, causing seven distinct colors to emerge from the water droplet. So, when you see a rainbow, what you're seeing is refracted light coming through thousands of tiny little water droplets in the sky. Remember, you need both water or raindrops and sun to make a rainbow. Let's test it out. Go ahead and grab your glass of water. Put your small mirror inside. Then, take your handy flashlight 
and shine it right on the mirror. Woo! Next, what you'll do is hold up your piece of paper. It will catch the reflected light, and you'll see that the light will actually have refracted. The white light will have broken into seven different colors. Let's try. Ooh, hard to catch on camera, but you'll have to let me know what your results look like at home. Well, thinkers and tinkers, not only did we make a crafty rainbow and learn about the seven different colors of the rainbow, but we learned about refraction and made a rainbow using actual light. How cool is that? We learned how a rainbow is made and where they come from. Great work today, everyone. I wanna thank you for tuning in and remind you to like this video, share it, and leave a comment letting us know how your activities went today. As always, I'm Jen, and I'm with you every Tuesday at 2 p.m. with fun STEAM activities. Thanks, Great Den. I'll see you next time.